Well, Pamela claims her children say they're scared of their father. She says she's not brainwashing or coaching the kids and is willing to face jail time in order to protect them. And going to jail to protect them does exactly the opposite. Because when you let the government into your family, you are turning your power over to somebody you do not know. You're turning your power over to somebody that does not know you. You're turning your power over to somebody that does not know your children. And they're going to go home that night and sleep in their bed no matter what happens. You too do not want to walk in that court in nine days because you are getting ready to have a crapshoot. You are in a very bad situation because you are in defiance of a judge and judges have what some people refer to as judge-itis. They take that robe real serious. And when you defy that, they can act real badly. You have created yourself a really bad record. You're yelling on text messages and stuff like that. That plays into exactly what you are accused of doing. You have created a record that impeaches yourself. She doesn't have to say anything. Both of you are facing danger. I'm telling you, if I were you, I would walk off of this stage, I would go into that green room, and I would work something out before I let some government stranger into my life dictate what's going to happen to my family. And I would grow up and be mature enough to know that there's unfinished emotional business between the two of you. You still have open wounds. You still have anger. You still have bitterness. You are not being fiduciaries for those children because you are still venting anger, hurt, all of these things that caused you to break up. You need to get that behind you. I'm willing to get you professional help to get that behind you. I'm willing to get you a co-parenting coach to get that behind you. And if that doesn't work, you can always go to court. But if I were you, I would ask for a continuance. I would do whatever I had to to stay out of that courtroom until I had a chance to try to fix this because it is a crapshoot and one of you is getting ready to be really shocked and I can't really tell you which one I think it is.